just other female entrepreneurs who have an idea. Actually, to be honest, I, I, I talk about diversity and inclusion. Any entrepreneur, it doesn't have to be female. I don't, I don't care where you're yeah. from if you've got a good idea. But almost, yeah. especially if you've got have a product-based business, because it is harder and it is different. Yeah. What would you, what advice would you give people first starting out? I, I, well, I, I think for me, the thing that's got me where it is, is I absolutely fundamentally believe in what I'm doing. And nobody has said to me, nobody has said to me, give up. It's not right. And I think had somebody said that, that might have just dented a little bit of my confidence, yeah. which can waver, I have to say. Um, I think for me, it, it was it's solving a problem. I experienced a real genuine problem which can cause injury and death. So that's significant. And, you know, and that that galvanized me into actually trying to do something about it. And I think any advice to any um, potential entrepreneur is grow a thick skin because you definitely need one. And, you know, I, I say now I've got skin like rhino hide. I don't think I have because, you know, I, I can get hurt as easy as anybody else if somebody, you know, pipes up and criticizes. Um, but you just have to dust yourself off that little bit quicker and go, do you know what? I am going to prove you wrong. And then just, you know, start a new day with a new a new coat of rhino skin on you and off you go again, you know. Um, I, I, obviously, you know, it's quite interesting you interview me. I'm not even on the market yet. And this is like 11 year journey. Yeah. Um, and hope to God in the next, you know, within the next 12 years, 12 years, 12 months, I will be on the market um, and prove, you know, that that this has worked at the end of the day. And it was quite funny because I did, um, I was trying to sort of do some work around my values of the business. And so I wrote to a few people and said, you know, describe me in three three words. And the words um, determined came back. And one said, you're a director of dogged determination. I thought, you know, I'll take that. That's a really good one. I'm going to stick with that. So it's just that determination and trying to be, it's, it's getting your head, getting above the noise, you know, making sure that you're distinctive as well. You're not just doing the same as everybody else, which is where the patents thankfully give me that badge of authenticity that it is something different as well. And I'm not saying that all new products can be patented because they, they can't, but thankfully I've been able to do that at great expense, but definitely worth it. Yeah, yeah, cool. Mm -hmm. just, it was it's the kind of thing that obviously, especially when I clip this up, that's probably the the section we'll use. But it's just, but it's nice and it's great advice because often, I remember when when I so when I launched my stuff back in February and I started to send people free packs and stuff. When I was looking at getting my rebrand done, it just I, you know I same as you do, I want my product to be the best it can be. The I ended up going with a company in Middlesbrough that are really good, but almost there was some people I spoke to down south, and actually some people politely or impolitely said who the fuck do you think you are to almost do this kind of thing you know oh. you're not alan shuggy you're not whoever oh and it was just you get a lot more hate than people probably think you do and it, yeah. i think the thing is because it's it's your baby it's your passion you've worked for years to get to this point it's probably like someone criticizing your kids and it's just you need the strength to just no no i i'm doing this for a reason just because you don't see it that's fine yeah yeah but then likewise in 10 years time for both of us yeah. when you're when we're both in 50 countries and all this great yeah. stuff i won't forget do you know what i mean it's just no no you no, you're absolutely right i mean i think that that's in, social media is brilliant but it just it does expose the worst in people as well yeah um unfortunately 